Hi, this is Darren Shepard from Rancher Labs. I just wanted to demo our open source project, Rancher.io, to show you the installation and some of the features, what we've got going so far. So the installation is really easy. All you gotta do is just launch a couple Docker containers. So we'll start with the management server. So let me go over to some servers I've got running already. So this is, a, I've got Fedora running on GCE. Um, and we're gonna register three nodes and so we just need to run this long Docker command here. Paste that over here. So this is uh, this is CoreOS running on Amazon. But the important part of this command is you got to replace the, the IP with the correct IP of your management server. So I got to copy over here. This is the IP of this Fedora server. Uh, so let me copy this entire command. So just paste it into the servers. Okay. Paste that. Okay, so that's going. So this is uh, I'm running Ubuntu on software. So this is actually a bare metal machine. This last one is CentOS 7 on Volter, oh, which is a, a smaller hosting provider. So you can see um, it said this invalid URL or not authorized. Uh, it was saying that because the server was still coming up. So if I go and I look at the logs of the management server, you can see, okay, this is actually started up. It's listing on port 8080. So if I go over here to the UI, it should load up the UI. Um, let's see. So it looks like already our Volter machine registered, our Amazon machine, and then here's the soft layer one. Okay, what we're going to do now is uh, actually spin up some containers. So we'll spin up WordPress here. First thing we'll need is a MySQL database. So let's do the MySQL image. Uh, in order to set the password, you use this environment variable. You pick the super secure pass. Uh, and that's about all we have to do for the database. So that's going to be coming up. Uh, and then what we'll do is we'll go and create uh, WordPress itself. So pick the WordPress template here. Again, in environment variables, we need to add Word, the database password. So say WordPress DB password. Oops, pass. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we're actually going to link this to the MySQL container that we just created. So there we go. So that is uh, now coming up. It'll be up in just a second. Uh, let me just point out, so this is actually running on Amazon, and this one is on software. Uh, these are running across two clouds, but you can see the IPs of the containers are all starting at 10.42. That's because we actually created an overlay network that runs across these two clouds. It's using IPsec, so it's encrypted and all that. So when I launched the WordPress, uh, you'll notice that I didn't actually assign a port to what I wanted to publicly listen on. So we can actually dynamically change that now. We're just going to put it on port 80. So there we go. So now we're dynamically exposing the port. So that should be listening on this IP of the server. So let's see. We should be able to hit that now. And uh, there you go. So that's bringing up WordPress. And so that's actually pretty cool because it's running WordPress uh, across two physical machines that are linked. Uh, and they're going actually across clouds over a secure connection. So let me show you some other fun things that we can do here. So let's say let's uh, we'll shut down the MySQL uh, database. We're going to launch a second one. Uh, and we'll call this MySQL 2. Uh, make sure I use the MySQL image here. Um, and then got to put in all this kind of the same arguments here. So MySQL root password is going to be pass. Um, but here what we're going to do is we're going to say volumes from. We want to link this to the one that we just created. So this is imagining like if you're trying to update some uh, app that, or you're using data containers or something like that. So here you can go. Uh, so now we got MySQL 2 uh, which is using volumes from that guy. And you can actually if you click on MySQL 2 you can see in here we say, oh, here's our volume, which was mounted at varlib MySQL, is actually being shared with MySQL over here. Um, so you can share, see between those, those two guys. You can also click on volumes over here, and you'll see that this volume here is uh, being shared by two containers. Um, 
So let me go back. So now that I've created a new MySQL database uh, using the uh, data from the old one, the problem though is this WordPress guy is still performing the one that's down. So let's just go over here, edit this. Um, we can change the link and just point to new, the new database. So just dynamically change the link. Uh, now we can go back over to uh, our WordPress site and see that it is in fact uh, still working. So we uh, dynamically switched the link from here to here. Um, so some other fun little things that I'll point out. So this is a, we were running on, a, this is on our overlay network, but if you don't really want to use our networking, you don't have to. Uh, you can still just launch containers in the normal way. You just go to network here and you just say unmanaged network. So what we'll actually do here is uh, launch Ubuntu. So we've got the Ubuntu image. Just go. And so, so now that's, uh, let's see, it's not, uh, I might actually have to pull down the image. Looks like it's probably staging it there. Okay. So yes, that's up and running. You can see here that the um, IP is different. This one's 172.17, because that's like just your standard Docker IP as opposed to this is the overlay network one. Um, but this is kind of fun. One thing I wanted to point out is that uh, we've got, um, you can easily execute a shell. So here you go, just pop open the shell here. You can run top or whatever you want, your favorite editor. Uh, so you can easily just drop in and do some debugging or whatever into the container. So that way you don't have to run SSH or anything like that. Okay, we're, uh, we're also pulling in live stats for the hosts. You can see here, um, pulling in CPU utilization, memory utilization. Uh, down here we got the disk usage. Um, you can also get the same, similar thing for each container. Uh, so if I click on WordPress here, you'll see um, CPU utilization and memory utilization, and um, eventually we'll add in some of the volume information. Um, okay, that, that sums up most of the stuff that we have right now. Um, you know, we've really, we just started um, working on this about two months ago, so this is real early. It's pretty rough. Um, we're moving pretty quickly, and I hope in about a month from now, I'll show you some more really cool features. Um, so please download it, try it out, let us know what works, definitely let us know what doesn't work. Um, thanks, thanks for your time. All right, thanks, bye.